know, I found that people do push themselves to embrace the awkwardness and ask that initial question. So kudos to you if you're the person who does ask that. All right, hey you guys, what is up? Welcome to this week's vlog. I'm gonna try to make it another chill one. Great for study vibes, great for winter vibes, cozy vibes, all of the above. Classic Rachel vlog again. You guys really enjoyed the one from last week and I must say that I do really miss making these cozy at home vlogs please 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 subscribe and join our herd we're almost at 200,000 by the way you're sitting on a completely new desk setup and i'm not completely done with it so i'm not doing a tour of it yet but next year you will get a tour yes right now i am doing some u world review today i had, had a really rough day yesterday that's why my eyes are actually a bit swollen and i didn't really look at you guys in the face today yet because my eyes were incredibly swollen I had a really, really bad um, anxious moment last night. I'm kind of going through stuff in my personal life. Sometimes it just kind of catches up to me and so I needed a nice cathartic cry last night to let out my emotions. So I'm doing okay right now. I'm just, you know, trying to feel better. So I'm just doing things that make me happy. <laughs> working and studying honestly makes me happy a lot of the times partially because it's a nice distraction from reality and yeah so that's about it um so i'm here studying oh actually first i want to show you this um do you guys remember austin he um he's one of my classmates and he's in some of the vlogs way back when the ogs will know but um he got me this for christmas and i thought it was the sweetest thing ever it's a little uterus he actually saw this in a gift shop in iowa and he was like if there was one person that would really appreciate it it would be Rachel. And so that makes me so happy that people are associating uteruses with me. Um, I'm gonna continue reviewing this U World set and then we'll move on from there. I feel like this vlog might touch on mental health quite a bit, or at least in the beginning, or if I decide to not include this, I don't know. So um, I do apologize if, there it's, if it's triggering to any of you, but this time of year is pretty difficult for a lot of people, whether it be the holidays or the season itself like seasonal affective disorder, stuff like that. I figured that I would share some of what's going on in my head with you. It might help some of you uh, feel less alone, maybe something like that. So I'm not anxious all the time. It just, it comes and goes. Sometimes I have really great days, weeks, months. And then other times, like kind of like right now, I've been dealing with anxiety a lot and it's a good time for my body to want to have all this anxiety and to sort out my problems because oftentimes this is what I shove under the rug while I'm um, in didactics or rotations and stuff like that. I don't have the time to mentally deal with stuff that I'm dealing with in my personal life outside of school. So it kind of comes crashing down during these breaks. So I do know that one of the main triggers, um, aside from other stuff happening in my personal life that I don't want to share with you guys, um, um, a huge trigger of anxiety for me is during these breaks that I have from school where we're not, you know, in lecture or we're not um, going on rotation. Having these breaks really throw me off just because I like to work. I like knowing my day and that I have a purpose doing something every single day. And so when I have all of this free idle time, I don't like having to fill my day with stuff to do because it's really hard for me to just stop and hard for me to wind down and do nothing all day. I go really stir crazy and I feel like I need to be more productive. Not because I'm missing out on stuff, but it's just my personality. I like to work. I get really anxious in the evening times. The evening is the absolute worst for me. I can't just sit down and watch a show. My mind wanders too much, so I, like right now, I'm studying. I'm doing Boards and Beyond, and I'm making Anki cards on Boards and Beyond videos. If that's my way to cope, fine. If you have other ways of coping, that's also fine. So just finding something that makes you feel better. I don't know, maybe some of you guys understand where I'm coming from um, in the slightest way, but just know that you're not alone. If your anxiety or your, uh, whatever you're dealing with feels worse and heaviest at the end of the day and you don't know what to do with yourself and sometimes you have a panic attack and you cry yourself to sleep, 
I do it too. I do it and a lot of people do it. Mind is so powerful, so strong. You really just have to figure out how to piece everything apart, make sense of it, and then find that solution. And I know it's easier said than done. Ah, okay, that's enough rambling. So I'm still watching the two Boards and Beyond videos a day. I finished the obstetrics part. That was 20 videos. Now I have 12 videos to watch for gynecology. And then two more breast videos. So today I'll be watching menstrual cycle and contraception. Very exciting. Yes, I'm so excited. Let's watch these and then I'll probably do a set of 10 questions on New World. All right, so I'm kind of finally ready for today. It's already three o'clock i you know finished up my studying and i went to the gym and now i'm here oh, but i got a very exciting package i'm addicted you guys the second you recommended me this podcast i was all in and so um i bought i'm obsessed with case kenny you guys he has the best podcast ever he keeps advertising the book that he made it's like a journal new mindset who dis Right, now I need to do some boards and beyond and work on some you world questions and then I will edit after that. Hopefully get to this book because last week I said that I was going to read 17 pages a day. And then I just calculated that if I do 17 and a half pages a day of this text for the next three weeks, I can get it done. I have not read more than 17 pages. I figured that if I'm doing all this boards and beyond stuff, a lot of this should be familiar. So I really should go through it. Maybe I'll do another 17 pages today. But this is definitely gonna come with me to my rotation because there's no way that I'm gonna be able to finish it at this point. So I finished the two videos that I wanted to watch on Boards and Beyond. I freaking love OBGYN, you guys. I don't mind watching and learning all that I possibly can. It's so fascinating. I don't feel this way about any other subject. Yay! Not flexing, it was literally just a 10 question set. I'd be impressed if that was a 40 set, but that is not the case. Okay, hey everyone, I have to sneeze. Okay, I have plans later on if they're still happening. I'm not quite sure, but I'm dressed and ready anyways in case I have to round the door. But in the meantime, I'm going to edit uh, this week's vlog. The one that you're watching right now. Yeah. How the magic is done. Okay, so if you're curious, I just pulled in a day's worth of footage and it's not even the entire day. It was just most of the day, so, and that's already 45 minutes of footage. And so imagine that times five, give or take, that's like almost four hours of footage a week that I'm editing down to a 10 to 12 minute vlog. So it's a lot, cause you kind of have to sift through all the footage. I'm gonna time lapse this, but this is how long it takes. You know how I do the little coffee takes? Okay. Okay, <laughs> so I don't know, that took like a few minutes to edit that, 
little beginning part. Literally, it's 10 seconds worth of a clip. Took at least two to three minutes to edit. All for this. Dang, you know what I'm gonna do because I can now? I hope nothing falls. I'm gonna stand the heck up because I can. Oh my gosh, this is a game changer. It is the 23rd. I'm having a really late start to my day. <laughs> I ended up going to LA last night and hanging out there and I stayed there overnight. So I kind of got back at like a late morning time this morning. So it's kind of thrown off my entire day, which is fine. I'm trying to get out of this slump, but enjoying the rain honestly i wanted to end the vlog here so i can edit it get it out for you guys but i appreciate all of you for sticking with me through my ups and downs and i really enjoy being able to share them with you um i hope that it helps at least one person it has to because we're all human so if you're going through anything just know that you're not alone if you need to talk shoot me a dm on instagram comment something down below that you're going to and we're all here for each other so I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. And until next time, take care of yourselves, be kind to yourselves, continue to work hard and all the good things. Okay. Well, I'm gonna give it my best. And hope it forgets about me. Cause I know it will. I'm gonna make it out of one piece. Or maybe two. And if I don't.